This is the project from the previous lesson. You can download it for free in the course. I will add a data grid view to display skull data. After that, add a button to show the data. Name the button Show Data. Change the font size for the button. Set ID for the data grid view. Here, I will leave the ID as the default. Next, set an ID for the button. Use this code to read data from Skull. I will place this function in the Skull class. Follow the software's recommendation to fix this issue. Next, write code for the button to display data. Use this code for the button. Run the runtime and check the results. When the button is pressed, skull data should be displayed on the data grid view. I will open skull and see sharp to compare. Now, the data in the data grid view matches the data in Skull. I will change the PLC IP to the address of NET to PLC SIM, because I'm using PLC SIM to simulate PLC. Skull shows a new row of data. Online the PLC to check. Set some values for tags. Skull values have been updated with a new row. You can also change the format for the data grid view. Here's the code to change headers for columns. This code is used for the fill mode of the data grid view. Now, the properties of the data grid view have changed. If you want the data grid view to automatically update values, use this code to create a function to display data on the data grid view. Call the function to display data after inserting into Skull. This is the function to insert into Skull. After inserting, you need to display data here. We need to add a data grid view as input for this function. I will add a data grid view here. The ID of the data grid view must match here. Because the function changes, the main form also needs to add a data grid view. 
Run the runtime and check the results. Now, the data grid view has automatically updated values after the trigger tag is on. I will clear the table data for easy observation. Now, the data grid view has automatically updated values after the trigger tag is on. I will change the tag value to check the results. The result is a successful value update. The lesson ends here, see you in the next lesson.